Navy Mantech, building the Navy's future force. I'm a big supporter of Mantech because it's a way to put smart application of technology into production and make a difference in the way we build Navy ships. Navy Mantech is responding to the needs of the Navy by improving manufacturing efficiency and accelerating technology benefits to the warfighter. Well, what we do that's unique is we actually work on the production process side of it. So instead of working on the product, we're focused on the process. ONR's Navy Mantech program works with defense contractors, manufacturing technology centers of excellence, Navy acquisition program offices, and academia to develop improved technological processes and equipment. The Mantech approach is not about building a new submarine, ship, or airplane. It is about building it better, faster, and cheaper. And that's what the Navy Mantech team did with the highly advanced Joint Strike Fighter, improving the manufacturing process for the plane's composite wings and other critical components. Automated BMI fiber placement for the Joint Strike Fighter. So the wing skins on the JSF are made out of carbon bis amid or BMI, fiber placed material. So the goal of the project was to improve the laydown of the material and improve the efficiencies. The Navy Mantech team brought experience, expertise, and new ideas to the table. And the payoff is a big one. The initial investment for this project was $3.1 million, and the overall estimated cost savings to the JSF over the life of the JSF is $100 million. Surface Electronic Warfare Improvement Program, CWIP. CWIP program is important because it provides electronic warfare capability uh, through use of existing Slick 32. In a series of incremental improvements, Navy Mantech is helping to accelerate upgrades to the Slick 32 system, the Navy's premier electronic warfare system for ships. The CWIP team was up to the challenge. CWIP improvements will result in new capabilities for the warfighter, while Mantech improvements are helping reduce the cost of buying and delivering these upgrades to the fleet. It continues to upgrade so that the Navy can own that battle space, understand the battle space picture, and then outfox our adversaries going forward. And the benefits keep right on giving. Once the investment is done, that impact stays for the life of the program, but it also carries on other programs because we tend to use similar parts across similar programs. We were able to take about 6,000 hours out of the processes that they were using to do those things. And so, in total, uh, the savings was about $1 million per ship set. Re-engineering saves big in the pipe shop. By investing in a smart approach to welding pipe, the Navy will save millions of dollars today to finance the Navy of tomorrow. And it turns out that given the complex nature of the submarine, the amount of piping that's actually involved, that about 4% of the cost of the submarine is tied up in pipe. It ends up being a significant place to go and look, and that's why we were able to get you know, significant per hole savings by increasing productivity in that area. Again, the Navy Mantech team brought their technological savvy to the table. We have some technologies that we've been working on which have reduced the cost in some cases by 30%. You know, where we've gone off and you know, created new software that will allow us to directly link uh, the computers that we use to design the product with the right up with the tradespeople uh, that are building the ships. Improved pipe shop processing methods will result in more than 8,500 man hours and $500,000 in savings per Virginia class submarine hull. I think the most important thing uh, Mantec, the impact Mantech will have in the future we're all moving into new technologies, I will call it new materials, particularly in, in our RF secretary, that is challenging. And we're all trying to figure out how we're going to manufacture it cost effectively. And that's going to be a key role that Mantech will help with. So what Mantech will help us do is they will help us demonstrate that that technology is viable and help us build the case, you know, that it's worth the risk. We actually, in a very short timeline, implemented and contracted for the technology that Mantech was bringing to bear. So Mantech focuses the goodness out of O&R into developing things that actually go into productions. Mm -hmm.